take a look now at COVID cases and deaths across California. Within the last 24 hours, more than 10,000 new cases of COVID have been reported. Six people have died. More than 1,300 are in the ICU. Across the state, more than 21 and a half million Californians are fully vaccinated. That's about 63% of the population. Health experts say that we could still be weeks away from seeing the peak of this latest COVID surge being fueled by the Delta variant. Experts say what we do now, between now and then, will determine how bad things will get. And Cronfors Hazig Medyun has the latest on that story. The COVID-19 Delta variant. It is more contagious and it is surging here in the Bay Area, but when will this current wave of the virus reach its peak for hospitalizations and deaths? Yeah, the current models are showing a peak sometime in early September. There's a lot of variables that go into that. Nailing down the exact timeline for the virus to peak is a moving target with several variables impacting the ascension. County of Marin Department of Health and Human Services, Dr. Karen Shavelson, breaks down some of the key factors. For example, schools reopening, uh, how will that impact the peak? How will that impact the surge? Travel, everyone's traveling for vacation for the summertime, and that means you're mixing with people from other parts of the country where there's a lot more COVID. There's a lot we can't predict. Unfortunately, um, I'm being asked a lot of questions. Can I have my wedding in September? Can I go to Hawaii in October? And my answer is largely, I don't know yet. Our seven day rolling average of cases, 235. So that is going in the direction of what we saw in during our fall and winter surge where we peaked at 373 cases. The director of the San Francisco Department of Public Health, Dr. Grant Colfax. While this fourth surge will present challenges, we are in a much better place and uh, many, uh, we will have many fewer deaths as a result of this vaccine coverage. Our behavior in the coming weeks will also play a huge role in how bad the peak will be when it arrives. Don't gather with people if you don't know if you're sick or not. If you don't feel well, stay home. Health officials advise if you are not feeling well to go get tested. And Dr. Shavelson says above all else, if you haven't done so already, get vaccinated. First and foremost, go get your vaccine. But that's going to take a couple weeks uh, to reduce the number of people who get sick because you need that immunity to kick in. So in the meantime, masking, whether you're vaccinated or not, masking is absolutely key to stopping this virus and stopping the spread. We did it before. We can do it again.